Hello there, this is Tim. I'm here to show off the um, save transfer feature on the 3DS. So I'm in this process now of migrating from cartridge versions of games to the digital versions of games. I'm selling my cartridges on eBay, and I want a system completely filled up with every first-party Nintendo game. And I, I, I'm, this is the first step towards that with Mario Kart uh, 7. So I've purchased uh, the digital copy. And I sold the eBay. Uh, I sold the original on eBay today. And what I want to do is transfer that data over and migrate that data over. So uh, the first step is actually uh, to download that app, which I've done already. So I've got both versions there, and there is a save transfer feature. Uh, it's this app here. Uh, just search in the eShop for save data transfer tool. And you can see this here where it's going from the cartridge to the SD card slot. Uh, and this is a move, so this is transferring it. When I transfer this data, it will be removed from the card and moved over to the digital copy so you have a fresh, uh, clean game when you uh, give it to whoever you bought it uh, or sold it to. This is um, maybe annoyance for some, but um, it's the way it works here. So let's, uh, let's load up this app and see how this runs here. So I'm now loading up the app to transfer this data, and let's see how long it takes. So download the data required for save data transfer. Let's hit download. Download the data required to move save data. Do not remove the SD card. Disable, you know, wireless stuff. The software is for moving save data from a Nintendo 3DS game card to separately purchase downloadable version of that title. Um, you can go through the whole explanation here. Things you need. You need the following things. Uh, 3DS game card with the 3DS downloadable version of the same cartridge. Caution. Save data moved to a downloadable version cannot be restored to a game card. Game card save data will be reset. So let's close, or let's hit contact information to see what that's all about. Uh, Nintendo uh, support page, basically. That's it. Close explanation. And it found it. So it sees that um, the game save data will now be moved to the downloadable version. It sees Mario Kart 7 cartridge, Mario Kart 7 digital. Let's hit next to get this moving over. If save data is deleted for reasons such as repeatedly turning the power on and off, moving the SD card while data is being saved, getting dirt on the game card connectors, or other misuse, then the data cannot be recovered. Thank you for your understanding. So to understand correctly, if save data is deleted for reasons, um, so basically there can be problems that happen, such as the connectors being a problem, things like that. So let's just uh, hit continue here and next. Uh, extra data created by the game card version of the software may be saved to an SD card. Please use the SD card that has the extra data saved to it when transferring data. So, um, let's hit next. When using more than one version of the same software on a single Nintendo 3DS, Street Pass, Spot Pass, and Extra Data from each version cannot be saved separately. So, let's hit next from that as well. Please keep in mind that if you use the game card from which you transfer save data onto the same, uh, please keep this in mind if you use this game card from which you transferred save data on the same system as a downloadable version. Okay, hit next. Confirm software version is up to date before performing save data transfer. The software will be updated if necessary. Uh, so it sounds like if it's not up to date, uh, the software will be updated if it is required. This may take some time. And let's hit go. Now it's repairing. Do not remove uh, the SD card during this time here. And let's see how long this takes here. Started around 440 on the video clock. And we're moving over to the digital version of Mario Kart.
preparing. So, fairly fast process, I'd say. That was a 20 second process. Uh, we're now at the page, once the same data is moved to the downloadable version, it cannot be returned to the game card. Do you wish to continue? And it is a move. Let's hit move and get going here. That was fast. The save data transfer is complete. The save data game card has been reset. This completes the process for this title. Please swap game cards if you if you want to transfer save data for another title. So there we go. That is complete. Return the home menu. And there we are. We are now upgraded. We have now upgraded our, our card here. And we are all ready to go. So... If I did this correctly, and I believe I did, um, if I load up the digital version, it should have all that, uh, all the racers unlocked and things like that. So let's load this up and see uh, how that went. We're also going to check out after this the uh, time of play for each of these. So let's just, and I can see right away. Uh, Character-wise, those all transferred, and all the courses are there. I can also check on the cartridge version, which I'm loading up now, that uh, it's going to be a fresh card. So we're closing that software and launching up the cartridge. And let's see the what the status of this one is. And if uh, I'm sure it's empty as Nintendo said it would be. And let's just see what happens here. So now loaded, and I noticed the launch title is much slower to do that. Um, you'll notice here, no trophies have been awarded. Um, Racer is very limited there, so that did happen. Now the last step before I close up this video is just this uh, ranking here. The play counter, so to speak. So we got two versions of Mario Kart, how does it deal with that? Did it uh, actually um, transfer over, or what did it do there? So I've got Mario Kart there for 14 hours. And it didn't pop any prompts that said I had a new game on there, and that would serve right. So if, um, that also transferred over or read out of the same database. So. Thank you for watching this data transfer video on moving from digital to, or cartridge to digital. Uh, stay tuned for more Nintendo 3DS videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Bye.